Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. If you've subscribed to us for a while, you are probably familiar with our labs and many devices inside. It can be divided into mobile phones, tablets, notebooks, etc. They are from different brands and released in different years. The reason why we need those devices is just that we need to provide accurate data to you. So we need to use the PowerZ tester and other equipment to check the compatible protocols and third-party chargers. So today we're going to introduce all of our devices to you. Let's start. Just as we mentioned, we've divided all devices into different parts, and the largest part is definitely the mobile phones. So far, we have nearly 60 mobile phones in our lab. They're from Apple, BlackShark, Xiaomi, Huawei, Honor, Nubia, Oppo, OnePlus, Redmi, Realme, Samsung, Sony, Smartisan, Vivo, Xiaomi, and so on. And we have 10 tablets. Most of them are from Apple, and we also have Samsung Tab S8. Next, we have seven laptops and a Mac Studio. They're from Apple, Huawei, and Lenovo. And we also have Nintendo Switch and five Dell USB-C monitors. Let's take a close look at this chart. You can also download it from our official website. The most important category in fast charging industry must be the mobile phone. ChargeLab focused on the charging port, well as charging and supported protocols. Except for iPhones, most mobile phones are equipped with USB-C port. And in terms of the supported protocols, different brands will have different strategies. The iPhone can only support PD and Apple 2.4 amp protocols. The fast charging protocols of Huawei are mainly based on STP, which can support up to 66 watts fast charging. Nubia can support PD, QC, and private fast charging protocols. And the highest power is the 135 watts of the Red Magic 7 Pro. The Oppo, OnePlus, and Realme adopt Volk and Super Volk protocols, and the highest power can be up to 150 watts. Xiaomi and Redmi support PD, QC, PPS, and private protocols, and the highest power can be up to 120 watts. The Vivo and IQ are compatible with PD and QC protocols, but also support its private protocol. The highest power can be up to 120 watts. Except for mobile phones, many tablets can also support fast charging, even faster than the mobile phone. ChargeLab has 10 tablets. All of them can support PD protocols. Thanks to the rapid development of technology, the laptop is thinner and the charging speed is faster. So more and more laptops can support PD protocol as well. There are seven laptops and a Mac Studio in our lab. All laptops adopt the USB-C port and support PD fast charging. In addition to the phones, tablets, and laptops, we also have the brand new Switch OLED. Since it is also equipped with USB-C port, it can be charged with a PD charger. But make sure your charger can support 15 volts, 3 amp. Only in this case, can it activate TV mode. Finally, ChargeLab also noticed that more and more monitors are equipped with USB-C ports and support PD fast charging, like the studio display. So we bought some Dell monitors, all equipped with USB-C port and support PD fast charging protocol. Well, there are nearly 100 devices in our lab right now. We have nearly 60 phones covering all major protocols and most proprietary protocols. We also have 10 tablets, 7 laptops, and the Nintendo Switch. All of them can support USB PD fast charging. We also bought several Dell monitors. We believe that the USB-C port and fast charging will be the standard feature for future monitors. Okay, that's all for today's video. To know more about our lab and devices, please visit our official website, treasurelab.com. See you in the next video. Bye.